Hey everyone, welcome to another movie review. <laughs> Paul Feig is doing a drama after for so long doing comedies. Well, this stars Anna Kendrick and Blake Lively, and it's really interesting. I didn't expect to see this this weekend, and I had a lot of fun, so let's talk about A Simple Favor. Okay, this is a movie directed by Paul Feig, who has also done Bridemaid, The Heat, and unfortunately the Ghostbusters movie. So he's primarily deals in comedy. And he also did Spy. So a lot of his stuff is comedy. This is a movie that is a black comedy. It's also a thriller, a drama, all in one. And basically it's a story of two mothers who happen to meet when they pick up their, their kids. And uh, they end up kind of becoming friends in a way but not really so you have these people who start telling you they, they become friends and then what happens is the secondary char character Emma ends up disappearing so you have Anna Kendrick who is playing Stephanie um, kind of alone with her kid she's a single mom along with Emily's husband who is played by Henry Golding who we have previously seen a couple weeks ago from Crazy Rich Asians and it's kind of a mystery on to what's going on with Emily and this movie is kind of interesting I didn't expect it to be as comical as it was, even though it is directed by Paul Feig, so I kind of should have saw it coming. It has a lot of laughs in it, and Anna Kendricks is really likable in this movie. <clears throat> She's almost adorkable. And that can work for and against this movie. Um, Blake Lively. She's really good in this movie. She plays this character who is frustrated with everything and doesn't want to be held down. And she doesn't care how she goes about having her own freedom. And she plays it well. Uh, one of the problems with this movie is the tone is all over the place. It's not a terrible thing. I think the ad campaign doesn't help it because the ad campaign kind of puts this movie as a lighthearted comedy, but at, uh, at the same time, it does put it as kind of like a successor or very similar to Gone Girl, and that joke is done by this producer. So it's kind of weird and it kind of, you kind of have to subvert your expectations. It is really funny, it's really sharp and I like kind of the, the arc of Stephanie's character, Anna Kendrick's character, because she's like this, mm, she's a blogger who is only still where she is because her husband happened to pass away at the same time and you know she's basically living off the insurance money um and i kind of like her progression especially at the end when she tries to get tough because at the beginning she's really a pushover uh the bad of this movie is it feels a bit too long 
it feels like they could have cut here and there and just get straight to the point. Also, let's get this out the way. Henry Golding is a fucking block of wood. He's he had no chemistry with the with not that the, the lead actress in Crazy Rich Asian was any good. They both didn't mesh together. And in this movie he's kinda the same thing. He's he's just like there. I never bought him once for a second as a father, as caring or anything. He's just a good looking guy and we're gonna put him there. I'm not a big fan of his so far. Um, movie's a little bit too long in the tooth. If you watch the marketing material it does feel like bait and switch. This movie's a lot funnier than I anticipated it to be. Um, and yeah, but um, there's this movie's actually pretty smart. I'm pretty surprised at how well it was done. Um, there are a lot of sequences I like. There was a, a clothing montage that like it went from oh I'm cleaning out my closet like Sex in the City Part One. And then it fully went into a, uh, a horror movie. Another point against it is the ending. There's way too over explaining and it gets way too cute at the end. There are post credit scenes that I really weren't feeling. It's more like it should have ended here and then that's it. Show the credits, play the music and let everyone go home. There's extra credit street uh, scenes that were very unnecessary. Um, but I'm not gonna lie, I surprisingly liked this movie. It had good drama, it had really good comedy. Um, Anna Kendrick is very likable. Uh, Emily, uh, played by Blake uh, Lively, she was really good in her role. Like, it almost felt like she was in her own movie. Like, she could have been a character in a single white female, and you would have been perfectly fine with that. Um, but overall, I enjoyed the movie. I gave it a 6.8. Um, I would suggest go watching this, and I don't think you'd be angry at it, so. But, whatever. Uh, that's it for now. Um, than Did me. you see um, a simple favor? Let me know in the comments below. Like, subscribe. Um, also in the links below, we will be having a commentary. Jeff is doing a new video game. Um, and I do, I think, a couple of voices on it. I don't remember what the video game is called. Doki Doki Literature Club. Yeah, yeah, that one. Um, so hopefully everyone watches that as well and supports Jeff on his own channel. Um, for me, that's it for now. Tomorrow, I will not be the lead reviewer and Jeff will be because we also saw Dragon Ball Z, uh, Broly the Legendary Super Saiyan and he's going to talk about that more than me because I don't know anything. So for now, goodbye and uh, later and um, as always, Gucci!